All right, now that we have covered the main features, it's time to go through the initial setup and see all the fields for the visual. Before that, we're going to quickly take a look at the sample report. So as you remember, I mentioned that you can download it from the description below. Within that report, you're going to have two different views. You're going to have a training view and a waterfall visual view. Within the waterfall visual view, you will always have a predefined configuration of the chart that is specific for that particular chapter. Now, in the training view, if we open it up, you can see that it doesn't have the chart within it. We have the description, but not the chart. So this view is meant specifically for us to build the instance of the chart and apply the configuration that's applicable to that particular page. So in this case, we're going to be talking about the initial setup. So let's go and build our first instance of the waterfall visual. At the waterfall visual, we're going to also quickly resize it. And we're going to disable the background and the title because we're not going to be using those. Now, for the visual setup itself, you can see that we have four different fields. We have the category field, we have the changes, total, and the sequence. The category field allows you to define the hierarchy of different categories. So, for example, you can set up multiple level hierarchies within the waterfall visual. So, in this case, what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to add one specific category. There we go. Now, the next field is going to be the changes. So these are going to be the values that you actually want to plot on the waterfall. In my case, those are going to be values. There we go. Now, the two additional columns that we have here are going to be total and sequence. Once I add the total, what it essentially allows me to do is to create dynamically additional total column fields within a visual. Before applying sequence, you can see that essentially the chart is trying to sort itself by a specific mechanism. The sequence field allows me to define that mechanism. So once I add the sequence, you can see that the order of the series changes and I have a start value in the beginning and end value at the back. One more thing that is missing in this particular version is that we actually eliminated the total column, which was dynamic. The reason why it was eliminated is because the sequence field doesn't define that we have this column. So the chart automatically understands that we don't need it and completely removes it from the visual. All right, that's going to be it for the initial setup, and I'll see you in the next video.